So those are the desktop applications in Synchro Pro. I'll now just look at Synchro Control. So Synchro Control is the project management tool aimed at anybody who's managing and controlling construction projects. It's a web-based interface, and you can see here that it's a nice web browser. Everything is, is very clear. It's very easy to see. If I log into this system first thing in the morning, I can see my project with a map view. I can see my tasks at the bottom of the screen, so actions that I have to take uh, very quickly. And I can also see the other activities I might be working on that day, such as managing documents, raising issues, or acting on RFIs. Now in Synchro Control, one of the common ways it's used is as a document repository. So it provides a way to store your documents and information in the cloud in a structured and managed way. And it's a role-based system, so you can determine who sees what folders and what projects at any one time. So it's quite a granular way of controlling who has access and who can do things with different files. Uh, I can collaborate on web models. So if I have my 4D model, what you're seeing here is this is a web browser, and you can see my construction sequence slider across the bottom. And as my construction sequence runs, you'll see the building go up and go down. You can also see some numbered flags in there, so 0, 1, and 0, 2. And these are comments that people have made. And the important thing here is that there are two real things. One is I'm viewing very large models simply in a web browser, so I can make it available to a wide audience. I can navigate around the model and zoom in and rotate while the construction sequence is going on. And when I capture my comments, it captures where they are in the model, but it also importantly captures when they occur. So if I'm the project manager and I can see that somebody's raised an issue, when I click on that issue in my web browser, it takes me to the point in time when that issue occurs at the right place in the model. Now I can also interact with that in a web browser in a, uh, a more visual way as well. So we have the example here, this is my synchro control screenshot. So I have a window here with a, a model at the top. I have, this is my 3D model. I have the Gantt chart down here. Now I've not had to recreate this Gantt chart. It's simply come from uh, the project planners that have stored their, their Gantt chart in Synchro Control. So I now can view that in the web browser with the model. I can see the task properties in here and I can interact with that uh, to very easily see what's going on, what the activity start and finish dates are and how things are progressing. Now as a process, how we bring those things together, everything starts with creating good content. And you'll see from the, the BIM tools uh, that will be shown later, there's now a wider array of really clever, sophisticated BIM tools that mean you can create very high quality data at the start of a project in the design phase. So what we do in Synchro is we take that design content and we take our project schedule, our high level plan, and we can import that to Synchro Modeler. So we can turn that design content into constructible content. Once we've done that, we take that constructible content into Synchro Pro. So when it's in the desktop app, we can then link it to a schedule and go through our path of construction and optimize how we're going to build. It then gets put into Synchro Control to make it available to the wider audience. So different people can interact with that data to help them build the project. And we can push some of that data out to Synchro Field, the mobile app on mobile devices, where people can report on progress, they can view 3D models, they can raise issues and RFIs. And in this case, they're reporting on progress. And you can see here that the green activity is behind schedule. So those field users can report back in real time, back to the project manager in Synchro Control and they can decide to take action. They might decide they have to change the construction sequence, or they might decide they want to change how they split the model down to reflect how it's going to be built, or there might even be a need to change the design content. But you can have a managed workflow to track and manage that process uh, through to resolution. Uh, we also have insights and dashboards in Synchro Control. So we have lots of data in the system information about how many drawings are created, who's creating models, what issues have been raised, what transmittals and submittals have occurred, 
uh, and generally activity on the project. So I can use some simple dashboards to look at different packages of work. I can see who actions are assigned to, and I can look at trends and issues as they're occurring. So I can look for, for things as early as possible. And the earlier I find something, the more chance I have of, uh, of resolving that uh, and finding a resolution to the problem. Uh, I can use map interfaces as well in synchro control. Now, if I'm working on road and rail projects, it's really helpful to be able to view the entire project length, which often is over a very wide area. So by using a map interface, it's just like using Google Maps or Apple Maps or Bing Maps. I have my map interface. I can turn layers on and off. So I can choose to overlay project drawings, my PDFs. I can look at my project boundaries. I can look at issues and RFIs on the site. So it gives me a bit of a heat map so I can see where the issues are occurring and where the problems might be. So it's another way of interacting with that same data. And in the same way, if I'm reviewing RFIs or issues that have been raised, I'm doing that through a simple web browser. So in this instance, I can relate the RFI specifically to a point in the model, geographically, and also on a time basis. So I can say it's to do with this piece of this pile cap here, and it's at a certain point in time on the project. I complete my data uh, with basic details. I can add comments. I can attach photographs. And of course, I get a full audit trail. So I can follow what's happened to that issue from when it was first raised to when it was closed out and completed. <clears throat> 